Today we're going to do our last lesson on tools. To solve chemistry problems and then our next lesson is actually going to start talking about um, some chemistry concepts. Okay, so our tool today that we're going to lose, use is dimensional analysis. Um, I cannot emphasize to you enough how incredibly important it is for you to master this tool and for you to show all of your work because by showing your work is the way that you're going to know whether you have set up a problem correctly and it's the way I'm going to be able to help you with problems that you solve incorrectly because I'm going to look at your work and I'm going to see where you made your mistakes. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to show your work, um, you need to get over that real quickly. We're going to look at a couple of examples that are very familiar to you so that you get this tool before we start using it in a chemistry context. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is how many seconds are in five days. Now, some of you could have lots of ways that um, you can just go about doing this in your head. You're very familiar with this and um, you can work this out in your own brain. Um, but that's not how I want us to do this right now. We're learning a method. That method is dimensional analysis, and we are going to let the units guide us. Now, when we are setting up a dimensional analysis problem, <clears throat> we are going to begin with our given. So our given in this case is the five days. So I'm going to say five days, and I'm going to put that over one. Days, that's my unit. That's my unit. And I'm going to start by putting my known over one. Now, I need to eventually get to seconds. That needs to be the unit that is in my numerator at the end of this problem. And if this unit is in my numerator at the end of the problem and all the rest of my units cancel, then I know I have set up the problem correctly. Okay, so I'm going to convert. So I'm going to use a conversion factor now. I'm going to convert days to hours. That's the route I'm going to take. So I'm going to say day hour wrong that is wrong now I'm going to show you why in just a minute um, how many hours are in a day 24 why is this wrong well it's wrong because my whole point here is I'm trying to cancel days and I cannot cross cancel this way. In order for me to cross cancel this thing, it's got to be opposite of that. It has to be hours per day and it's going to be 24. And then I can cross cancel my unit. Great. So now I've got hours. And remember, we never put, it's not 24 days per hour, right? It's 24 hours in a day, in one day. We can put the one if we want. We don't have to, but now it's one. Um, 
All right, so let's move, let's move forward with this thing. I'm going to go next from hours to minutes. Now, am I going to go hours over minutes? No. I'm going to go minutes per hour. Minutes per one hour. Put the one here again. Even though multiplying and dividing by one, you get the same answer. So you can or not put the one. Okay, how many minutes are there in an hour? 60. Have I set this thing up right up to this point? Yes, because my hours cross cancel. I'm letting the units guide me. Next, I'm going to go minutes to seconds. How many seconds in a minute? 60. I know I'm at the end of my problem because I have the unit that I'm looking for. The unit I'm looking for in the numerator. Okay, so then I'm going to put this into my calculator. And the way I'm going to put it into my calculator is 5 times 24 times 60 times 60. And the answer that I am going to get from this thing is uh, 4.32 times 10 to the fifth. I think that's what my paper says. 4.32 times 10 to the fifth seconds. Now, these are conversion factors. So we assume that they have an infinite number of significant figures. Always conversion factors, we assume that they are correct to an infinite number of significant figures. My measurement here is this, five. The way that it's written right there, how many significant figures does it have? One, one. So that means that I have to round this answer to how many significant figures? One, which would be four times 10 to the fifth seconds. This answer, 4.32 times 10 to the fifth, that would be a fine answer if instead of that saying five days, it said 5.00 days. Okay, let's do another one. One more, and then we'll practice tomorrow. Okay, what about this? Convert a flow, so convert a flow of 22.50 gallons per minute into liters per second. Ooh, so we have to do both numerator and denominator, which is good. Okay. So our given here is 22.50 gallons per minute. 22.50 gallons per minute. Okay, that's our measurement. That's what, how we're going to round our answer. Because everything else is going to be conversion factors here. All right, now I've got to go to liters per second. So, you know, I could do either one. I could start with my time. I could start with my volume. Let's do the time. Let's convert minutes to seconds. Let's do that part of it first. So, I've got a minute here. And for every one minute, how many seconds do I have? I have 60. So great, my minutes cancel, and I've got seconds in my denominator. 
and that's what I need. Now let's convert 22.5 gallons. Let's convert our gallons into liters. So I'm going to first of all convert gallons into quarts. So I've got a gallon and a quart. How many quarts per gallon? Four. Again, a conversion factor. And then this next conversion factor I have memorized. You may, you, you may or may not know the next conversion factor, but I'll alert you to the page in the book where you'll be able to find all the things. So now my gallons cancel. You can cancel from afar. But now I've got to get my quarts to liters, and so I want liters in my numerator, and I definitely want quart in my denominator so that they can cancel, and it is 1.06 quarts for every one liter, and now they cancel. And so how am I going to put this into my calculator? If I was you, I would not, first of all, multiply and then go back and divide. No, 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 no. What I would do is I would say 22.5 divided by, because it's in the denominator, 60 multiplied by, and you don't need to do equal, anywhere through this, just keep going through the problem. Okay, multiplied by, because it's in the numerator, 4, and then because it's in the denominator, my last function is going to be divided by 1.06 equals, then do your equal sign. Okay, and so we should end up getting... 1.4, one I have two answers, I wonder which one's right, 1.415, and what are my units here, liters are left over, and what else, seconds, is that what I'm looking for, that's what I'm looking for, is this the correct number of significant figures, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're going to practice with things we know tomorrow in class, and then we're going to begin to use chemical quantities that we aren't so familiar.